and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I am your host, Derek Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor to Tenkar's Tavern Blog. Uh, today is Father's Day, but that doesn't stop the news from rolling in. And uh, we got a little bit of interesting news. Uh, I don't know if it's shot in Florida. And uh, we got, so we have uh, a Stacy update. Don't say it three times. You know what they say. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. And uh, we got a James Raggy update. And I think the uh, James Raggy one is actually more interesting, but we'll give Stacy her due. Um, Stacy, three people, I mean jackasses, have named me in lawsuit threats for publicizing the accounts of their victims and advocating for their removal from conventions. If more people did this work, I'd be less of an obvious target. Well, you see, most people would actually uh, do this work when, I want to know, it's actually some kind of proof, or you're not playing a game of telephone where the stories get exaggerated. But um, she doesn't name who has uh, threatened her. Now, the recent stuff from Zach S., Zach Smith, where he, at the end of his uh, little uh, diatribe threat uh, lawsuit post, goes off about maybe others are in for uh, getting served, but Stacy can't get served in Canada. She doesn't live in Canada. She lives in the States. And as such, you're not going to find such a friendly venue. So, that being said, interesting, right? Doesn't name the three. By the way, I will name the three that have. Why is it always coming threes, right? I will name the three that have. Uh, were nice enough to, I don't know, do legal threats against me. And I'll, I'll give it in chronological order because that's where it counts, right? Gail Gygax, for something I never said, for something that was said in a comment to a blog post, but yet I was the one that was given the legal threats. I apologize for saying something I never said. And said I was apologizing for something I never said. So there you go. Hasn't changed much recently, probably. Uh, number two, Ken Whitman. Now, Ken, you can't take uh, very serious because Ken deals with the imaginary FBI and he likes making threats. But Ken made multiple threats, uh, in- including uh, threatening to do a takedown because I was using an image of him, and I had to explain to good old Ken Whitman, the shithead, personal opinion, by the way, I'm not saying his head is actually made out of shit, that is not a fact that I can prove, I'm just saying that, in my opinion, Ken Whitman, the shithead, uh, Ken felt that since I was using his image, he could file a takedown, I had to explain to him that you, assuming that he had legal representation, which I know he didn't, um, he does not own the photos where he actually is an image. It's owned by the photographer. So if he wanted to get the photographer to make a complaint, so I should take it down, an image that was on his Facebook uh, feed. Um, sure. But then also Ken's probably violating them. That didn't go anywhere. And of course, good old Frank Metzner, who, uh, when his Kickstarter was uh, floundering, and they killed it, and they put out the link to the Empire website that was going to be coming up. Uh, not, by the way, uh, a link that was locked down, and not a link that was private, not a link that was protected by a password. None of the above. I shared it. He made a threat. I explained to Frank that, as he had pointed out to me in the past, I knew the law. I know the law. I know where the line is. I did not violate the line. And then Frank made a public apology. So those are the three people that have uh, made legal threats to me. Uh, I personally don't think that three people have made legal threats to Stacy. Seriously. There's, there's, y- 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 first off, threats are nothing. Threats are just that. They are an attempt to make somebody to conform to your will that isn't actually filing legal paperwork. Okay, there are lots of uh, threats that go on in this little industry. Companies writing letters against, uh, uh, you know, one man shows, one man shops, uh, threatening 
uh, infringement, threatening, trademarks, threatening, whatever. But these letters are a dime a dozen. Okay, you get a letter. It doesn't mean much until you actually get served. But do you want to get served? If the person that is threatening you with illegal, you know, legal action is Ken Whitman, you can pretty much be sure it's not going to go anywhere. If you're getting threatened by a sizable company, it might. Maybe they have the money to invest in it. Most likely, it's just going to be a letter because nine out of ten of us are going to say, oh, shit, uh, I don't want to get caught up in this shit. I don't have the money to fight this. But, yes, Stacey, I don't think you got three threats. You might have had one. Um, it might be Zach. You know, uh, I'm sure he's pissed. And see, he's bitter enough to actually follow through. So, you never know. But let's go on to the Raggy Biz. Raggy has an update. Lamentation of the Flame Princess, RPG. Everything's been a mess lately, but to clear up any rumors. Number one, direct sales have been down since January 1st, mainly because the Finnish post office got rid of the mid-price shipping options. So the options are one book or super wildly expensive shipping. But convention and distribution sales have been steady to above average, so nothing collapsed since the Zach thing. Not even sales of Zach's books. Plans are in place for a U.S. fulfillment option, but things go ever slowly on getting anything done. <sighs> well, that can't bode well if you can't ship books. All right. Yes, convention sales are great. Distribution is awesome, but it was my understanding that Raggy did the bulk of his business through his own fulfillment, his own shipping. Sorry to see that issue. Like That's just sucks. All right, number two. The reason the new books haven't been put up in the web store here is frankly because there will still be a surge of orders when I do so, and I don't have time to deal with it at the moment before the end of the month, I guess. Uh, if he doesn't have time, it sounds like it's a staffing issue. I know Raggy was mostly a one-man show, but I thought we were a little bit beyond that. We're in three. We're not going anywhere. Apparently, there's been this thing going around saying, I'm intending to get out of the business. But I don't see that happening. Uh, first off, James likes the attention. Uh, and James puts together good shit. I mean, it's not all usable. But pre presentation-wise, uh, it's top-notch. Art-wise, fucking awesome. Uh, Party-fuck-wise, yeah. Um, you know, maybe good for a convention game. But not necessarily good in your your I don't know, ongoing campaign. But still, they're solid releases. Uh, it's not like um either independently wealthy or very employable in a normal job, so we're stuck with each other. And get a haircut. You're probably employable. Maybe you don't speak Finnish as your primary language. I'm assuming you've gotten fairly fluent with that there, though, but we shall see. Number four, we should have four new books for Gen Con. Similar to last year, Zakharov, Kelvin, Murphy, and Rose, plus a special You Won't Believe It book, plus a Gen Con exclusive t-shirt, and the catalog will this year be a small booklet with an exclusive gaming content thing. All right. Interesting. Five. Yeah, we're doing some company reorganization and personnel changes. All right. Again, I don't remember, besides the community uh, person, who for a while was... You guessed it, Stacy. Back when she said Lamentations of the Flame Princess was an OSR. Um, this has been an awful, awful year. I need to make sure things are better for the future. No, I won't comment on specifics. Fair enough. Uh, we can spitball this one if we want. I think I already have. Um, but if you've got thoughts on this, please leave a voicemail. Number six, ref book. Now, this is where I am. Certainly interesting because I backed this how many fucking years ago? Ref book worked honestly. I guess he meant work. Work honestly. Just stop dead when the Zach thing hit. It is so late. I really don't think. I think the work could probably stop prior or was trickling. It couldn't have been a lot of work being done on it at this point. Because there's really been no updates. Um, hell, most everything just stopped dead when that happened. And things are only now picking back up in a lot of places. All right, I'm going to comment to the end of this. 
I hope to get back to it as soon as all the Gen Con things are to press because, yes, I know it needs to get done, but bugging me about it doesn't actually make it happen any faster. Trust me, I really want to stop being bothered by it more than you want constant updates about where it isn't. It'll get done. Embarrassingly, you're late, though it will be. I have drafts of several things in hand. The best is absolutely yet to come. So, business has not suffered, but uh, there have been no direct sales since the beginning of the year because of shipping. Uh, the Zach thing killed everything, yet there's still stuff going. There's a lot of contradictions here. Uh, what I will say, in my opinion, James is right. He's not going anywhere. Uh, but uh, Lamentations is going to suffer, especially not having the direct web store. It's where you can sell PDFs, but uh, that shipping thing, super wildly expensive shipping, that ain't good. Uh, also, sounds weird, but hey. All right, folks, that's today's news like updates. Uh, if you have any thoughts as to who might be uh, hitting Stacy with legal action, again, feel free to leave a voicemail. If you listen on iTunes, I must thank you humongously. I really do appreciate it. We've got a nice amount of ratings on uh, iTunes. We've got a 4.5 rating overall. If you do listen on iTunes, if you can give us a rating, give us a review. Uh, I, I seriously, seriously appreciate it. All right, folks. On that note, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And to those of you who don't think you're a father, maybe you are. Happy Father's Day anyway. Uh, as always, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice. And I will talk with you all tomorrow. Thank you.